Good morning, everybody. It's Sally. I just wanted to say some things that were on my mind. You know, I've been out of town, haven't done an update uh, since Vegas, really. Um, and there's so many things I want to talk about that I might have to make a couple of vids. So just bear with me. I've got to get to the gym in a minute for yoga. It's been a long time since I've been to the gym. And top on my priority list to do today, besides walking the dog, who didn't believe me when I said, Pock, walk. And he just looked at me. I said, Pock walk and he got a little excited but he was afraid to be excited because I've, I've disappointed him for the last three weeks to a month because being at my mother-in-law's with her passing and um, the weeks waiting for her to cross over um, and not being in my own space to be able to have the time to walk him or go to the gym or, or any of that he just didn't know whether I could be trusted or not um, and trust is a very interesting thing. Looks like we're back on track, though. I think you'll believe me tomorrow or this afternoon when I say it's time to take a walk. Um, so, you know, relationships can be restored, uh, even with dogs. So there, there's my word of wisdom for the day. Let's all try to be about restoring relationship. Okay, having said that, um, oh, where was I going with all that? <laughs> Reinventing yourself. I want to just say this. I've watched about five or six videos this morning, try to catch up. Um, and, and many of the theme, there were a lot of like sub themes that I saw that kind of touched every video I watched. Um, some of them were talking about some of the negativity. Um, some of them were talking about um, judgment on themselves, like Amy felt there were some cracks being made somewhere along the line about how she dressed. Um, or how she came across because of the way she dressed, or even the banded bitches came across at the Vegas thing. Big deal. Let me tell you what. If you're not taking, if, if people talk, it's because they're insecure. Everybody knows that. God knows. I used to talk. I used to be insecure. I'm not so insecure anymore. I I don't need to to talk about other people. I I talk. I can talk about myself. I can see myself growing and changing. Um, when we all started out, we had different issues. What I want to encourage you guys to believe, believe me when I say this, you can reinvent yourself. Start today. And I feel like I am not the person I was when I started out um, two years ago even, or three years starting to look for the process, or two and a half years, or however long it's been. I am not the person I was the day I had surgery. I am not the person I was six months ago. I am a different person today because of the experiences I have had. One of those experiences was Vegas. And I cannot tell you how much that reaffirmed in me that I am not who I was. Not physically, not mentally, and not emotionally. I am a new creation. I am the sum total of my life experience and the richness of the last 18 months of my journey self-exploration, introspection, um, helped me grow and change and make good choices for myself. I worked through my stuff as I walked. And I worked on my inner stuff, my insecurities, why did I respond this way to that, um, the choices of food, whether I crave something, whether I didn't crave something, um, giving it 110%. Everybody's got their style, but my style was, I'm a sprinter. I'm an ADD type of personality where if I get excited or enthusiastic about something, I am there in a minute. And I don't know how long that interest will last until it wanes to something else. And I'm distracted and go off another way. So my word to you is, people, don't come into this surgery half-heartedly. Don't come into the surgery with any doubt that it will do anything but be all you want it to be if you give it what you need to give it to make it work. Um, everybody's entitled to their own style of approach. But I've seen enough to know that at about six to nine months, people get disappointed and tired and quit or fall off the radar because the results are not like somebody else's or it was too hard to keep dieting. I'm going to tell you right now, this is not a diet for me. I have totally changed the way I look at food, the way I feel about food. There is nothing that I want to eat that I cannot eat. I, I don't crave gross amounts of things. I, I, I'm just not the person I was. I do not have the head 
um, the stomach in my head or the stomach in my stomach are not the same stomachs of the same person who used to live in this body. I am a changed person, a hundred, a hundred percent different than I used to be. I used to be a negatron. I used to be depressed. I can tell you that the confidence I have now in my own value, in my worth, in my ability to have something to offer that I know is meaningful to other people, those are still all intangible things. It isn't like I know I have money now because I have this thing I can sell or this skill I can sell or something I can market. That's not what it's about. Going to Vegas for me, the greatest gift I received was being reflected back to me who people saw that I was. What a gift. You people don't even know what a gift. Oh. Anyway, hold on a second. I don't know, whoever it is in, in Pennsylvania that's calling me, forgive me, because I don't know who you are and I'm not into the phone. Okay, I hope it's not Tom. <laughs> I don't think it is, but it could be. Could be Ed. I don't know who's calling me. Anyway. Arr, it broke my concentration. You see, I do have ADD. Um, here. There. I hung up on him. Um, the, you know, you, you only see who you are when you look in the mirror and it reflects back to you. That's a physical reflection. Sometimes you can see an internal reflection in your eyes um, and in your smile um, in the mirror. Sometimes I can see a glimmer of that energy and that light that I can exude when I just feel great about everything. Um, but in Vegas, you see who you are reflected back in the responsiveness of other people. And I don't think I've ever felt more responded to my energy. Um, it was just a thrill to, to meet everybody. And the more people I met and got to embrace, the brighter my energy glowed, the more dynamic I felt, the more on top of the world. Um, and I absorbed all that. I took all that in. And that memory will be with me for a long time. But because of that and because of the shout outs people have made to me and people that wanted their picture taken with me, um, much less all the people that I got to, I wanted my picture taken with too. Um, it changes you. It is healing people. It is healing to feel all that love and acceptance in a place. And you healed me. I got my healing in Vegas, honey. I got my healing in Vegas, the final healing. And uh, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not insecure that I have nothing to offer. I, I love myself. I love my best self. I don't love my bad parts. And I don't mean my body. I mean my darker parts, the negative parts, the critical parts that I reflect out more to my own family than uh, the community. So, I, but this has given me hope that I can actually work on those things too. Um, I just want to remind you, reinvent yourself. You've had the surgery. You can reinvent your whole, I had someone talking about that, what they want to wear today. Um, on Facebook, someone had mo commented about a dress. Did people think that was too young for them? Well, that reminded me of Amy's mom's video about her clothing choices. And, and do you know what? Let your freak flag fly, fly, whatever that means to you. As far as I'm concerned, I lost 37 years of myself to the no man's fashion zone. They didn't make fun clothes when I was in 1968, when I was plump for girls. Um, there was no torrid. Um, there was nothing. There was Lane Bryant, old matronly, crappy colored clothes that I had to be put in. I didn't have a pair of jeans till I was in I don't even remember when I got a pair of jeans, actually. I probably was a senior in high school, and they weren't even real jeans probably then. I think in college I had some overalls. I lived in religiously, and I did have jeans then. I do remember that. But the point is, don't stop. Um, I wear things that are fitted, and let me tell you why. Since the beginning, uh, I always wore big baggy clothes. I bought 5X shirts. I lived in my 5X swimming around in Hawaiian shirts with a little tank underneath and my jeans underneath that because I wanted to hide my butt. Well, you know what? 
grow into your new life people make those changes every season every every quarter every few weeks when you need new clothes go and find something and try to own the new you it's it's okay i'm going to step back and show you something y'all have seen my body it's not like it's anything different okay here let me see if i can do this okay all right there i'm going to the gym okay now in vegas i looked really spindly really old lady spindly next to a lot of people but you know what this is what's happened to me and i can't hide it now i can try to overdress my oh that's my daughter hey let me call you back in one second okay one second okay <sighs> anyway um oh gosh i this is terrible and i don't want to remake this video because anyway maybe i'll have to remake this video never mind Hey everybody, now it is the afternoon and I watched my video to see if I was going to chuck the whole thing or just try to pick up where I left off. So let me pick up where I left off and see if I can wrap this up before my husband walks in the back door and I get another disruption. What was I saying? Reinvent yourself. I want you to know that I love, there are things that I've done in the last year that have helped me own this body. I know this is who I am. I am not the person I used to be. This is me. This is the me I was always intended to be. This is the person with a little tiny pinhead and the big body. Well, you know what? I don't have a pinhead anymore because my body matches the size of my head. Duh. Anyway, I started to wear fitting, fitted clothes from the first minute I started to lose weight, and I think you should do the same. Not only do I wear fitted clothes everywhere I go, I wear faux spanks everywhere I go because that makes me feel sucked in and tight and firm when I'm at the gym and I stand next to that mirror to work out in my gym class I own the body I see I own the reflection I see I own the tight skin that's not mine yet but will be after surgery I'll never have to wear spanks things again but you know what in the meantime they make me feel fit and fine and tight and firm and all that wear things underneath to make you feel pulled together it'll also help with the gravity issues of some parts of your body as you lose weight um, they are not uncomfortable if anything they're a bonus because when i get full i am more full quickly because i'm wearing those things up to my stomach that is like wearing a tight belt it's a, something you should learn from you should try that um and and so i just really believe in wearing firmer fitting clothing every single day i don't want to feel loose is a goose. I like to be barefoot, but I want to be tight. And um, I think that's a big, a big help. That's been a big help to me to help own the new body and the new size of the new body. So um, that was it. I just wanted to wrap it up and say thanks for listening. I wish you all well, but don't give up and don't give in. And you can get there if you want to, but you can totally change who you are and reinvent yourself. I have. It's been a gradual process. It wasn't an intentional thought in the beginning. It was about getting thin. Now it's about being healthy. It's about being a, a nutritarian. That's my new word, a nutritarian. I care about nutrition. I care about putting good food in my body. I care about eating healthfully. I care about being healthy and moving my body and going to the gym and walking the dog and breathing and, and feeling every bit as alive as I can every day. And I love you guys for helping me get here. I love you all. And um, I'll see you later, okay? Peace out. Here comes hubby. I hear him in the garage.